My name is Ryan Nolan from uh, Homedale, New Jersey. I've been playing football since I was five years old and I uh, absolutely love the sport and I'll love it till the day I die. You know, Ryan's a good kid. He's an extremely hard worker. Ryan, pretty much anything that's asked of him, he does and he, and he finishes it. He is a hard working kid, a lot of character, a lot of integrity, overachiever. Go! Uh, he's the hardest worker on the team by far. Ready? You're not going to find many kids that work harder, strive harder, more of a leader. My brothers have been leaders, so I've always looked up to them, so I always wanted to be the player that they were. When I got to high school, I was like, you know, I need to step up, be like them, because that's what I wanted to be. And uh, when it came onto the field, it kind of just became natural. When I was eight years old, my father passed away. Uh, I overcame it with the people that surrounded me, because I absolutely got nothing but support from people from my brothers, from coaches, from friends. Even at uh, eight years old, you know, you might think how many memories does a kid have with his father, but uh, they were extremely close, just like the three of us were. You know, we really had the community to rally behind us to really help us out in that tough time. It was devastating, but when people came up to me and brought me up, there was just, you know what, I have a life ahead of me and I need to move on because that's how my dad would want it. If he was here today, knowing that Ryan is where he is right now, I'd be very, very proud of him. Well, my best friend's uh, brother got hit by a car and uh, you know, he was down, but you know, I would want to be the first one to be help him out. Me and my best friends went straight to the hospital to support Maddie and Mr. McDonald and Mrs. McDonald because they've done nothing but good things for me and just have been looking after me ever since my dad passed. Ryan really, uh, I think, was there for the family because the family was there for us when we lost our father. The football game wasn't even on my mind, but Maddie came up to me on that Tuesday and said, I want to play this game on Friday for Timmy. Ryan's actually the one that came to me saying, what can we do, coach? Let's do something different for, to, and, and come on, think so we're all, everyone knows we're thinking of Timmy. From the start, we just knew we had this game. You know, we played for a reason, and Timmy was in the back of our minds the whole game. We wore his uh, TM on the back of our helmets, and that was all stemmed from Ryan's idea. Spots is a playoff team and we beat them by three touchdowns. The new Tiger Wolves pass to Pete Socrates is complete and into the end zone for a Hornet touchdown. And he really got us fired up for that game. Many people thought we were going to lose, but we rallied for the McDonald's and Brian is really a big catalyst in that win. Everybody was just such an emotional game, and we won the game by like three touchdowns. It was just the most incredible feeling in the world. Ready, go! I think most of the boys on the team look up to him as far as a role model goes. He was like really the head captain on the team this year, and I looked up to him to help me become a better captain. Ryan always kept us cool, and always just have his teammates back no matter what the situation was really. The whole heart of the giant thing, I really don't think it's so much about your ability on the field. I don't think it says much about your ability on the field. I think it's more of a character trait. And that's what makes me happy about this, the fact that it says more about you than a person than it does on the football field. You see kids get recruited every year and talk about 40-yard dashes and touchdowns and offers. Ryan Nolan is a kid that exemplifies the game of football. He is an overachiever, he's an extremely hard worker, he's a great leader. Not only is this word about me, it's just about the people who have impacted me, who have made me the person I am today. This year at Rumson, as an opposing coach, we watched the film, which is a unique perspective because I got to coach him for three years and now I'm playing him as an opponent. You know, myself and our coaching staff looked and said, who the heck is 57? And 57 is Ryan Nolan because they said that kid plays tough and you know, his technique was great, his motor was great, and he was able to withstand a punishing season as an offensive lineman and a linebacker against, in my estimation, the toughest division in the short conference. You could score all the touchdowns, you know, you could be the uh, star athlete, but at the end of the day, it really reflects on you as a person. And I think that's when Ryan should take a moment and pat himself on the back and really, you know, be happy for everything that's happened with this. I'd like to thank the hospital for special surgery. I'd like to thank uh, Coach Graham for the nomination. Uh, I'd like to thank my mother, Janice, uh, 
my brother Tommy, my brother Michael for raising me and making me the person I am today. And I would like to thank the people who have helped me throughout all the years and everybody who has voted for me for this nomination.